What's up, everybody? It's Rafael Hilaire, local real estate agent in Tampa, Florida. And today, I want I have three strategies to help home buyers in this current seller's market in Tampa, Florida. Right now, we have a shortage of inventory, and it's very hard for buyers to maneuver to find a home that meets their needs and their criteria. So why not help you guys with some strategies so you can understand what to do in this crazy, crazy market. And also, if you're thinking about moving to Tampa, Florida, even if you're having the thoughts of it, planning, thinking about it, curious about it, text, call, email, everything's in the description. Make sure you give me a call. Make sure you email me. Make sure you text me. And I will help you answer every questions and explain every single step of the process. Now, let's jump right into the video. And if you are looking to understand what to do in this market, stay, stay till the end and you will have all the information you need. Number one, the number one strategy, I have everything on my notes right here. So I will be uh, reading it, looking down and things like that. So the number one strategy is to plan to stay in the home for at least five years now i know some people trust me in real estate you see it all some people buy a house and, and and move within a year sometimes even less than that so if you're it like this video is directed for people who plan to stay in the home not maybe not their forever home but just a home that they're going to stay in for a long time. In five years, if you look at it, it's, it's a long time. You know, a lot of things happen in five years. And in real estate, five years is very important. Uh, it's a rule of thumb that dictates generally how long you'll need to hold on to a home in order to make up the money you spent on closing costs. Now, we all know what closing costs are, right? Let me explain. Closing costs are... Costs that are associated like the fees and, and things like that to close on a home. This is not your down payment. This is your closing costs. And closing costs are typically 2 to 4% on each house, not your down payment. This is, in, this is on top just to close on the house. So uh, usually 2% to 4%. It just depends on the home and, and taxes and all those things as well. So... Um, you definitely want to spend and make sure that you are at least getting the the just of your closing costs because like i said before it could be two to four percent sometimes even higher and um for you to break even five years is a is a good number for you to stay at the home and you'll break even on your closing costs uh just so you don't feel like you wasted that money because closing costs can be up to fourteen thousand dollars so if you want to stay in the house for a long time, five years is is the number that you to break even. And um, I recommend that as well. The second strategy for home buyers in this current seller's market that we're in in Tampa, Florida, is to look for income generating opportunities. This one is a very, very huge strategy because home buyers on a budget might want to consider properties that can generate income. Now I say that because what it like you don't know what predicament you might be in whereas after maybe 3 years, 4 years, 5 years, 7 years, 10 years, you might want to rent out the properties. You might have death in the family. You might have to job relocate. Like so many things can happen. So make sure that this property that you are getting is worth it. You know, like if you want to rent it out and it has really good income, especially now in Tampa, it's Let's not even go there. I'll make a separate video about the rental incomes in this area. But we're starting to see prices just continue to rise up. And that's something that uh, is long term. You know, um, it, you could just sell the house for profit, of course. But, you know, maybe you want that that second source of income coming in to you. So definitely recommend that, you know, short term rentals, Airbnb and Here's the beauty of it. Some mortgage lenders will actually use a type of loan, which is Fannie Mae, that allows lenders to use future rental income in their lending guides. So I think that right there is very massive. I think that could help you tremendously knowing that you're secured. Like I said, have a smart, really 
really great real estate agent like me that will break things down to make sure you can um, incorporate that in the loan that you receive for your home. So uh, yes, the second strategy is to uh, look for income generating opportunities. Make sure you're looking for that. It's very, very important. You want to look at the area. You want to look at what other houses are doing in the area. And um, you want to make sure that appreciation is there, you know, so make sure to look for income generating opportunities. I know when you first get into a home, you're like, this is my home, this is mine, but you just never know what could happen. So just to be on the safe side, you want to at least this home can actually put money back in my pocket if need be. Number three, the last strategy that I would highly recommend in this market this seller's market that we're in for buyers is to consider factors that influence long-term property value now home buyers who want to see the equity grow over time should pay attention to the history of the property and what might happen in the area tomorrow this is very huge <laughs> i know i said for the second one is huge but this one is very very huge i think uh this is probably no, this this could be number one on the list. You know, it really could be because honestly, especially in the area that we're in now, everything is like I said in previous videos, the new developments, um, new restaurants, new pop up shops, everything is just coming up. So many people are coming over here, making prices, values appreciate. So you want to definitely pick an area that not not particularly busy but you want to pick an area that is very close to certain places that people want to go to you know your local restaurants your local supermarkets Publix, walmarts mcdonald's like those are the places that really can appreciate over time for the homes in the areas because people are attracted to those places which will lead them to the areas the best way buyers can evaluate that the true long-term value of a property is to look at the historical price of the property that's similar and that's something that you want to do with your real estate agent is to sit down and to determine what did those houses do what did that house do or the one down the block or is the one next to the waterfront the water view better or is it the one towards the back are those prices a little bit more higher it just all depends is two story is one story like those things i i do believe that what you want in a home is number one that's number one let's not let's not take that away but as well as we do want to consider other factors that can help you appreciate and make the money that you put in the home worth it because we don't want to just put in money to become a liability. We want it to become an asset for you in the future. So make sure these three strategies are what you're using when you're looking for a home in the area, especially in a seller's market where multiple offers are being thrown in and people are, are paying fifty dollars to $100,000 over asking price. And we're talking cash. Like they want this home and, and sometimes you might want a home as well that fits all these three criterias. So we want to make sure you're paying for the right amount of money for a particular home that's going to pay you back in the future. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. If you have any uh, video recommendations, anything you want me to go over, please make sure you comment like, subscribe, uh, email me, call me, text me if you are thinking about relocating to Tampa, Florida or relocating out of Tampa, Florida. If you would like to see the area, just, just, just comment on the video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next video. Peace.